to this next video. How do I work in Project Professional Part 2? Now we finished on Part 1. Part 1 we basically went through and just showed you how to insert and delete tasks and looked at the different views inside there and the task relationships, adding a node, expanding and collapsing the view. And now we're going to carry on from there. So first thing I'd like to show you is the critical path of a project. Now that runs from the beginning to end and you want to know which tasks are on your critical path. So if you go to the format ribbon there's a checkbox there which you can tick. Now this shows you in the project you're looking at which tasks they're highlighted in red, the critical tasks. In other words, if you extend the duration of any of these tasks here on the critical path, it pushes out the end date of your project because they're all flowing through the project, finish to start relationships and you finish one, you start the next. So these are the tasks you need to keep an eye on. So that's just a checkbox on the format ribbon there. So you can just check it and uncheck it any time you want to keep an eye on your critical path. Inside here as well, there is something new, it's called a task path. So you can actually go and select a task on your project, click on the task path and say, which tasks are the successors? Which tasks come after the task that I've selected? And then it actually highlights on the project as well. This can be very, very useful because you can then keep an eye on the tasks that are coming after the task you're in. And in the same way that you do that, you can also then go and select a task here in your project plan, go up to the task path and say, which tasks are the predecessors that come before the task that I've selected? And again, it will show you in the project. So this is a nice little functionality that has come in. Again, it doesn't get a lot of recognition, but it's, it's worth knowing about. Just going to undo that. Now, the other thing I'd like to show you is the time scale in your project. So for instance, I can actually take a phase of my project. So if I take phase two here and just highlight phase two, go all the way down because that's the area that I'm concentrating on at the moment in my project. And then I can come up to the top here on the view ribbon and I can say, just show me the selected tasks. They're the ones that I'm concentrating on at the moment. And it just shows me in the Gantt chart area, the tasks that I'm concentrating on. And then I can say, OK, show me the entire project. And I can click on the time scale and say, OK, show me the Gantt chart by months or show me the Gantt chart by days. And there is also a zoom slider in the bottom right of project now as well. And I can actually take that bottom right and I can go and expand my timeline as well by using the zoom slider. Now, those of you that know project know that this, these functionalities here that I'm showing you are very, very useful because before they came in, you had to right click on here and then go to the non-working time and play around with, you know, the, the different areas there. And so everything now in project is much easier to use. Next area I want to talk to you about is on the view ribbon. There is this highlighter. Now the highlighter, again, it's new to project. I can come in here and say, could you highlight all of the critical tasks on my project? and then it highlights and they're the tasks that I need to keep an eye on. You can leave the highlighter on if you want to. You can actually say, okay, leave the highlighter there. I just want to see all the tasks that are critical. Keep an eye on them on my project. So I'm just going to permanently leave the highlighter on. So the highlighter, very, very useful. I'm just going to go in and say clear the highlighter because I want to show you the filtering and grouping. Now on the filter here, I can come down and say, OK, filter by milestone. Now what a filter does, it just basically filters out and gives you what you've selected in a filter. Filtering and grouping in project. I've been a Microsoft Certified Trainer for eight years now, and I find that people in project don't tend to filter and group. They do in Excel all the time, but they don't in project. And I do encourage you to try and do that because everybody can benefit through filtering and grouping what they have. So the only thing with a filter is that when you finished with the filter, just clear the filter to remove it. Grouping, of course, will show you everything, but it will show you them grouped. So for instance, here it's showing me all the non-critical and then all the critical tasks. It groups everything into um, what you've selected. So please use the highlighter, the filter and the grouping because they can benefit everybody. Again, I'm going to come up here to the grouping and I'm just going to clear the grouping. 
Okay, another area I'd like to show you inside here is you can take a task or tasks and you can right click on them and you can say make those tasks inactive. Very, very nice feature. What that does then, the project just ignores those tasks and the resources that have been assigned to them and it just deals with the task above and below them. That can be a very useful little feature there because you can go in and maybe if you've got a project and you know, obviously you know exactly what the scope is, what the end looks like, you can go and put all those tasks in and then you could say, okay, if I get a bit of time, I might do these little extra tasks and you could put them in and you could make them inactive. If you had time, then you could go in and bring those tasks back in, make them active again. It's a way of bringing your project back on time, reducing the scope as well. So that's making tasks um, inactive and activating them again. OK, the next thing I want to show you is going and adding a column to a view. So I'm just going to go and select the column that I want to insert the new column to the left of and right click, <coughs> go down to insert column. And I'm going to go and insert the highlight report column. I'm going to explain a little bit about um, what I'm talking about here. Now, in Project Server Prime, it has been set up and at the end of different phases or stages of your project. So for instance, I've got the phase one here and that's the planning, that's phase complete. I can then come in here and go and put an indicator, a stage gate milestone next to that end of that phase. And I can do the same with phase two and phase three and all the different phases that I've set up in my project. So I just go down and I go and insert again. This is the end of a, a, a phase here. So I actually go and put that there as well. Now these are very, very important because when you've set up your project at the beginning, your work breakdown structure, and you've put your start and finish, and you know that is the project and the dates that I want to be. This is the date I want to be here on the 19th of January at the end of phase one. I can then baseline the project. So in other words, I can say that's the ideal project. That is the time I want to be at that end of that phase. And this stage gates that I've actually indicated here would feed through to the project highlight report. And if there, we have not met that date of the 19th of January, if it's moved out a little bit, it will come back with different coloured indicators in the highlight report. Very, very useful to see how those projects are progressing on the server, the projects that are on the server. So that is basically, in Project Server Prime, it has been set up as a highlight report. You can insert that column and you can go and put the end of the phases. You can go and put that next to the reporting that you want to have there and that will feed through to the project report. OK, so that is basically what I'd like to cover in this video, this Project Server um, Prime Project Professional Part 2. Please come to the next part because I'm going to then talk about resourcing in Project Professional.